What's up everybody, Lee B here. And uh, yes, we have a brand new roller. And it's a new model that Wacker Neutzen came out. It's the RD14. Which is the very next step up from the RD12. As you can see, the back half of this machine is exactly the same as the RD12. Also, I got two words for you. Built in America. Well, however, though, the front half is where you're going to see all the differences. As right here, this is equipped with a Kubota three cylinder diesel. Liquid cooled. And also a lot of easy accessibility when it comes to magnets. So here's your hydraulic tank. And right down there is your oil filter, is your alternator. It's right there if you need to replace it. That's pretty cool. Right there is your air filter. Right there is your pump. And here's the other side. And right here is the, I believe it's the hydraulic filter. Right there is your fuel filter. Very easy to get to. And there's the fuel tank. Which I am not crazy about where it's located at. Even with the uh, RD12s. I know our, uh, the one we had from the uh, video three years ago kind of gave us a little issue. Sometimes the tank would be, um, the gas would be boiling in there. And I know this, uh, the gauge, not even within a couple of uses, uh, that quit working. I don't know if this will be any better or not. We shall see. Anyways, let's give it a crank. Right up. Well, of course, the brand new machine, duh. Also, that uh, includes the tour of this roller. Um, and you probably wondering what happened to the HOM AC-10. Well, uh, we sold it just this past summer. We just sold it, say about back in, I think it was in July or something like that. Because really for what we do, it just seemed a little too heavy. Basically, it's like you have to have one of these with you to uh, do the cold rolling. And that we discovered just a week ago about this new uh, model that came out, which is like maybe like, I don't know, 150, 200 pounds heavier than the 12. But however, we. Uh, we figure I think this is going to be the perfect size for what we do. You know, it ain't going to be too heavy or too light. But, uh, you know, we'll see as we use it. I'm sure it'll be pretty good. But I know it's driving into the shop here, out of the, you know, out of the pallet. <laughs> I know it does feel heavier. It does feel heavier than the, than the 12. But, uh, but so far I think it's going to be a nice roller. And, uh, unfortunately today it's raining out. <laughs> so uh yeah so uh in about a couple days we're gonna do uh a small uh a small bank parking lot so i'll film that for you guys and show you uh how it doesn't it how, show show you um how it does on that job here's another new piece of equipment we bought recently Sorry for the noise, that's just, uh, it's raining out. And the shop is not insulated or nothing, so it's gonna be a little loud. So about a couple months ago, we picked up this uh, New Holland CT27. Um, we've been using, we just started using it recently in a couple jobs, and so far, so good. And I know it does get a leak, it's got a little hydraulic leak, I don't know why. 
So, I don't know, she's working pretty good. Really nice machine. And here's our RD12. This one here is not the same one as you saw from the video a few years ago because we we sold that one with the Hom last summer. And uh, I think it was a rental, uh, a rental company and that one and that other one, that RD11 you saw in the in the shop there. We bought those two. And, uh, and yeah, and this one here is for sale. It's only got like 600 hours on it. Everything works, even the lights, they work. Right there, there's proof. They work, they're LEDs. And there's the front. And there's it. here it is underneath the hood. Yes, the top cover's missing, but the air filter's still there. It's still secured. I mean, she runs good. She's ready to go to work. I mean, we've been using it. I know we've been using it since we bought it, so. And it had to give us no problems. Let's say she'll fire up for you. There's the key. There it is. And here's what she looks like underneath the platform. Well, anyway, guys, uh, we want. I think. Uh, I think he wants twelve. Uh, twelve five for it. So if you're interested, just hit me up in the comments, and we'll go from there. I almost forgot. You're probably wondering, Levy, what did you pay for this thing? Well, I'll tell you is uh, $25,000, which concerned me because uh, we got a quote, I think it was last, this, this past spring, we had a quote for a new RD12, and uh, they say if we can get one, it was $19,000. When we saw this, it was only in, it was actually for, yeah, it was from a dealership uh, down south somewhere. I don't know what state, but it was down south somewhere. We kind of thought it was a scam, you know, because you know, because I looked on Wacker's website and I don't see an RD14 yet. And the dealership said, "Well, they, they just came out with it. Just came out." So, uh, so we just thought, you know, I thought it was a good price for uh, going to the next model up. Because I know the RD, the next one is RD18. And I think does that's, that's like about thirty, what thirty-five thousand now. Because I remember when they first came out, they were like thirty-three thousand. So, again, taking account to inflation nowadays, we thought it was a good price. But who knows? Maybe with our luck, probably, not, probably not a local dealership will only have for maybe twenty-two or twenty-three thousand. Kick yourself in the asses. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and share it with uh, your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next one.